Yesterday's Switch version 4.0.0 released, new OS version, and implemented some new features. And we talked about that in a prior video, but we hadn't tested these features yet. And more importantly than testing of the features, which you're going to see throughout this video, me doing some various video captures, and maybe going into settings and looking at some new stuff, apparently we have some updates to these features that one, one particular item is available for you to use right now but was never discussed by Nintendo. The other is an update to video capture where Nintendo is going to allow you to record more than 30 seconds in the future. So he, this comes from Kotaku, specifically uh, their UK branch, and it says, according to two sources speaking to Kotaku UK, the plan internally at Nintendo is for this feature to be expanded once a few conditions have been met. Nintendo wants to keep video capture limit to 30 seconds until all first-party software supports video capture, and third-party adoption of the system-level feature has been rolled out to a number of larger games, making use of Nintendo properties. In this case, you're thinking of things like Mario plus Rabbids, Kingdom Battle, Fire Emblem Warriors, etc. While any developers starting today could patch in support for video capture in their games, our sources say that Nintendo will be actively approaching developers who have made use of its characters. The aforementioned Fire Emblem Warriors and Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, with a view to get those games supported early. Adding support would be done via individual game patches, like the one seen today for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Once those conditions have been met, and the feature has been shown to be functionally stable on consumer systems, the plan is to add options for larger recordings of 1 minute, 3 minutes, or 5 minutes. Selecting one of these larger recording slots would require you to allocate a larger amount of space for a rolling recording. This would be handled by a Switch firmware update, after which all games with 30 second video capture support would be able to make use of larger recording times without needing to be repatched uh, on the game level. Uh, our sources did not give us a time frame on this support expanding, and they did say that their focus for now is on seeing as many Switch games as possible supporting the feature. So that's just awesome. Uh, one of the, the big criticisms of the 30 second thing is that it's just 30 seconds, right? Sometimes you want to have more than a 30 second clip. Maybe you defeated a boss in Breath of the Wild, and while some boss phase take longer than five minutes, maybe you want to share like a five minute clip of your boss battle instead of just a 30 second clip. Well, it sounds like you'll be able to do that eventually. And these shares, I didn't say this in the story yesterday. I found this out after the fact. These shares are for your purposes of obviously replaying locally on your Switch or to share directly on Facebook and Twitter. Now, Facebook and Twitter, uh, Twitter especially, uh, really compresses videos a lot. So don't be surprised if you go and you upload your, your clip to Twitter and it just doesn't look as good as it does on your Switch. That's to be expected. But on Facebook, it'll look much better, although Facebook, again, has some bad compression as well, but it's a lot better than Twitter. This is just a really, really cool update, and I'm glad that Nintendo is forward-thinking with this, right? That they already have the patch enabled to use longer times than 30 seconds. Uh, that they plan to get a bunch of games supported, all their first-party games, and apparently all their, you know, partnered games. Now, it would be interesting if Nintendo allows third parties, like straight-up third-party games and indie developers to just do this. I don't know. Right now, all this discussion seems to be about first-party games or partner games, but it'll be interesting to see if this can expand into more than that, which I hope it really does. I hope, Nintendo, the way they've been embracing third party this generation, I assume once they get everything smoothed over with their own properties or their own properties that are featuring, or other people's properties that feature their content, like even Skyrim with the the Breath of the Wild DLC stuff in it, will they'll probably end up supporting uh, video capture in that as well. But beyond all of that, there was another interesting update with the firmware that Nintendo never even talked about. And that has to do with USB slash wireless USB headsets in docked mode. Now, this only works in docked mode, obviously, because you need the USB connectors. But right now, you can plug a USB headset into your dock and use it. You can voice chat through it, which right now the only voice chat ability is the certain is a specific lobby mode for local play 
in uh, Splatoon 2. Uh, hopefully that expands beyond that, but Nintendo's still trying to push their Nintendo Online app with voice chat, so it is what it is. Uh, it also enables you to use a USB wireless dongle. Now, to be clear, uh, you've been able to technically use like a wireless headphone with your dock the entire time. You just needed to buy a Bluetooth adapter, which plugged into the audio jack port on your Switch. The problem with that setup is, well, <laughs> you'd either have to externally power that thing because you can't power it through your Switch dock, or you would have to have one that you charge. As an example, I have one that you charge, and the battery life isn't necessarily the greatest on those kind of setups. So having like a USB dongle version of wireless headsets gets around some of the issues. So this this could mean that you could use uh, potentially USB wireless Bluetooth or just some some wireless headsets come with their own USB dongles. So this is just a really cool thing that is interesting because Nintendo seems to be uh, recognizing that this is an option people want. And it seems to be working with almost every single USB headset uh, people are attempting this with, or USB headphones. Uh, I wonder if this is maybe even a response to third parties. As Nintendo's getting expanded third-party support, I'm sure some third parties you know, told Nintendo, hey, look, like that app's a cool idea and everything, but our, our players want to... Like, people who play our game play mostly in docked mode, and we want... Like, they're, they're going to want to just use their dock, right? They're going to want to voice chat locally through dock. That's what I really think this is for. Now, uh, this is obviously a better solution than the phone because the phone, in order to get game audio, you have to run an audio cable from the headphone port into a dongle, and then you have to run audio from your phone for the voice chat into that dongle and then plug your headphones or head uh, you know, headphones and or you know headset into that dongle instead now if you just have usb headsets you can just plug it right into your dock and go uh that's obviously not ideal that's why i, I actually am a bigger fan of the wireless usb capabilities but this is just really really cool that nintendo even thought to add this in because there's been a lot of complaints about voice chat and while we still don't have local voice chat there's not outside of that one mode which might even still be a mistake in splatoon 2 uh, there really isn't local voice chat. This obviously is going to allow for headphone usage, like more expandability with headphones uh, instead of always having to use ones that would plug directly into the audio jack on the Switch. Or it, it's going to allow for local voice chat. Let me, let's just say what it is. This change allows for more readily available local voice chat on Switch for games that want to do it. So we'll see what happens uh, if and when a game releases that decides, hey, you know what, we're going to circumvent the Nintendo Switch Online app and do our own voice chat. Uh, and we might even release a headset for it, because why not? Uh, I'm excited about these changes. I hope you're excited about these changes. Overall, i got to say that this has probably been one of the most significant OS updates. And I know some people are saying, damn, Nintendo is just adding all these features in to force people to get off the versions of the OS that are hackable. And maybe that's true. I feel like Nintendo was going to always update the operating system. Uh, not just because everyone does it, but because, let's be honest, when the Switch launched, the OS, while it was super clean and really fast was missing a ton of features and the support for USB headsets, the support for video recording. It's nice to think like even the, the video recording stuff, they had to have thought about this ahead of time. I mean, they included a capture button and I'm sure they weren't thinking, hey, let's just use it for screenshots. Uh, it'll be really interesting if they ever implement YouTube type stuff like they did with Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Um, and I would love, I don't know how this could happen, but if Nintendo could somehow have Twitch streaming, that would be insane. Uh, even if there's no camera, you could still use USB headsets, and I I don't know. They're just I, I feel some goodness coming here uh, from Nintendo that they're recognizing. Hey, look, people want these features, so let's do it. This is a Nintendo that seems to be listening. They're, they're, they still have some stubborn attitude with certain things. I mean, come on, we still have that. Uh, you can still only voice chat in Splatoon through an app, but uh, it's getting better. Thank you, Nintendo. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jets from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content like this. And, folks, I'll just catch you in the next one.